our image rendition, we would need to make sure that the uh, blob cache is enabled. And if we go and look in the web.config, for our publishing site. We can find our blob cache element. And we can see the location of the blob cache is on the C drive. And we're caching these types of files. Maximum size is 10 gigabytes, and it's enabled true. So now that we know our blob cache is enabled, we can create an image rendition. So now in our publishing site, we can go to site settings. Oops. Under look and feel. We'll go to image renditions, and we'll do an add new. We're going to call it landscape large, and we'll set the width to 500. And we'll set the height to 400. Then we'll go to site contents. And we'll go to Site Collection Images. And in Site Collection Images, we're going to do New Item. We're going to add a new item from Demo Code Van Gogh Starry Night. And click OK. So there's the details of our image. We're not going to change anything there. We'll just hit Save. So now here we are in our site collection images. And there is our Van Gogh Starry Night and the other images that are available there. And click the check mark. And then we're going to go to the design tab and choose edit renditions for the image that we've selected. And then we get the different default versions for our image renditions. So in our different image renditions, we can change the way that the image rendition appears. We can change the cropping. We can change what appears in that area. So in our landscape large, we're going to click to change. And then we can determine what portion of the image that we want to use. So maybe we only want to see the city over here. And notice down here in the preview, the image rendition now just shows the area that we selected. Or maybe we want to see just the tree over here. Or maybe we want a moonshot. As we drag our selection around, the image rendition determines what's going to be displayed. Now, as the resolution changes, we chose the largest resolution here, landscape large. But as we switch down to smaller resolutions, there's going to be some cropping that happens. And maybe the cropping that they do by default doesn't give us the view that we want. Like this cropping, this one's not very good. We don't see any of the city, the moon's cut off, most of the trees cut off. So if we click to change, we can drag that down so we can see the city, or drag it up so we see the moon. I personally prefer the city view. So we save that there, and now our image is a little more meaningful and not just some randomly selected piece of the view. Actually, that one's pretty good. I'm okay with that one. So you can see how uh, the changing resolution of the devices might cause some of the image to be unviewable. So we can go in here and modify how that content is displayed so that the appropriate piece of the image is displayed when that type of device with that resolution views this page.
watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below. Also, be sure to check out one of the related videos off to the side over here. If you really enjoyed it, you can help out by sharing the video on Facebook or Twitter. Encourage your friends to subscribe. Thanks again.